trouble. trouble, and it involves Hamlet. The championship points leader goes around, and can he save it? Caution is out. He keeps it off the wall. Okay, we're going to need four tires. Come on around. That's a lot of damage to that right front fender. The very thing he did not want to see happen, you see him slam the wheel. 16 just turned right down on us. Right down on me. Let's update you on Denny Hamlin. Remember, he restarted 39th. He has already picked up nine spots. He is up to 30th. All right, everybody breathe. Four, we're good. Including me. <laughs> Trouble for the 11, Jamie Little. Denny Hamlin came on the radio and said, I think I have a tire going down. And moments later, he said, Mike, it just doesn't feel right. Mike Ford, his crew chief, said, if it doesn't feel right, bring it in. Changing four tires, 12.9 seconds stop there. Unfortunate for the 11 team. Hopefully that was the problem. We will inspect the tires right now, guys, and get back to you. If that wasn't the issue, something else is wrong with this race car. They'll get a wedge and a track bar adjustment. Catch cam man Jamie Frady putting the wrench in there, doing both adjustments. As the crew comes around to the left side, full of snow goes the old and four tires for Jimmy. Having a little trouble getting the left rear off and on. It'll be a slow stop for the 48. 15.6. Now, Jimmy Johnson did pick up five bonus points for leading a lap when Jeff Burton pulled off the track. And look at Chad Canals. Well, you don't want that kind of stop right now. It has come time for this 11 team to work on that front nose. They're going to work on the splitter on the right front. They said, take your time, get it right, take the braces off, put a new brace on, put the track bar down one round. Mike Ford said, when it's time to leave, it's time to leave. Worst case scenario, we have to pit again. Uh, oh, no, and Joey Logano gets turned around and damaged on the front end of the 20. You want to be Denny Hamlin and have your heart stop for a second? Here's his view. Yeah, no, I can't. I said Boyer did. I didn't see right there, Boyer didn't do anything. Joey looked like he just maybe misjudged that. Denny Hamlin is running back in 15th position. That's exactly where he restarted just a little while ago with 124 to go. Here's the problem for Jimmy Johnson again. Yeah, on the right front, it looks like they didn't get all the lug nuts off on the first round. That cost him a ton of time. One of the worst things you can do on a pit stop is leave one of those lug nuts hanging. Denny Hamlin still moving forward, making this car work now. You see the points right on the top of the screen as they run right now. And Hamlin, boy, the changes that Mike Ford made finally connect this car to the track, and Hamlin is moving forward. The drama continues to unfold here at Homestead Miami Speedway, and it's bad news for Kevin Harvick. Too fast entering pit road. What? No way we were too fast entering. Have to go back to the back of this field to restart here, and it's the fourth pit road penalty of the chase for the 29. Right now, they are still appealing to NASCAR. And Kevin's saying, there's no way I was too fast coming in. What they're going to do now is uh, Gil just called to Richard Childress and said, give me all the 31 car tires. Get them down here. We're going to tire them to death. Every time we get a caution, we're going to come in for four fresh good years, keep fresh tires on the car, and let Kevin keep picking them off. We still got plenty of time. Four tires, no changes, no air pressure. This crew has been stellar all day long. And Kevin said, told the crew, if you can get me up front in clean air, I'll drive away. Which is exactly where he was when that speeding penalty was offered by NASCAR. With Jimmy Johnson trying so hard to get around the 18. And Tony Stewart trying to make it miserable for both of them. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson just got a little bit of an assist there from Tony Stewart, who got up beside of Kyle Busch. That allowed Jimmy to slide up in front. Brad Keselowski takes a spot away from Denny Hamlin. Keselowski up to eight. Yeah, four valuable points right there for Denny Hamlin. Eric Almirola is closing fast. He is ninth right now and going in the wrong direction. What Denny Hamlin needs is a caution flag right now to get things reset, get tires. He, he should have pitted that last time he got tires. He, they missed that opportunity. Now he's starting to slide backwards. And I don't, there's no way he can win this championship without a caution. So 29 laps to go. Kevin Harvick is in. Here comes Denny Hamlin. Tony Stewart is also in. A critical round of pit stops begin now, Jamie. Ray, you were exactly right. This car is not set up the way he wants it. It's still loose. Why leave it out there any longer? Continues to lose points. This is the money stop right here. This team has been flawless today on pit road, getting the job done. Four tires. Let's go on pit road to dock. Kevin Harvick's pit crew has gained him seven positions over four pit stops. Kevin made the call. So, guys, let's short pit do something to win this thing. We got a good race car. He is down on the way. Final stop for Harvick. Dang. Jimmy Johnson said his car was slowly working to the loose side. They'll come into the pit stop. Four tire change. They may make an adjustment talking about actually pulling a spring rubber on the left rear. We'll see if Joe Spiller comes around on the left hand side. See him take off the tire waiting on the jack now. 
I just look like you pulled it, Ben. Oh! Hey, turn, dude. Oh, man. Is that a misjudgment or is that a turn on purpose? Rusty, what do you think? Well, it looked like Kevin was trying to dart man. back underneath him. He had a big run and just didn't quite clear him. As we work the 10th caution flag of this race that came out in the middle of a cycle of green flag pit stops and has trapped Denny Hamlin one lap down. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go back and check in on the 11 of Denny Hamlin. He is now back in 21st position. And let's see what happens here as we're on board with Mark Martin. Outside, buddy. Three wide. A little bit of a tap there for Mark Martin. Two, nine, eight, outside. You guys will throttle a little sooner than what Mark did getting down into turn three. Coming through turns three and four. The championship is going to go to Jimmy Johnson, and if you don't think he's going to be one of the greatest, think he was again. You're looking at the five-time champion. You're looking at him. Hey, 